Hello and welcome to another Brett Plays Flight and Review. And today we are taking out the Tiger Moth. Now this is a recently released uh, in both the sim and outside the market by Ants Airplanes. Tiger Moth, I've actually bought it from the marketplace. And it comes with at least a dozen uh, liveries. I'm taking the first one that comes with it. So what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at this. And if you're considering getting this, hopefully that actually does help uh, you decide. I'm actually quite happy with this so far. A lot of detail. Wood panelling for your struts. Very nice. There are multiple liveries. There's also an Australian one, which I've tried. Uh, fuel tank. What we'll do is we'll get inside and have a look at some of the... Uh, different controls also I've tried an Australian livery and had a different color propeller I've just noticed so there's some attention to detail that's pretty good with this there are several yellow uh, liveries and then there's uh, some others like Mount Cook Australian Air Force uh, let's have a look at the pilots here twins hello guys all right Let's go and have a look inside as well. Inside. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, touch buttons and uh, press things and see what we can do to get this going. Um, and now, I've only had a short play with this. If you've seen other um, reviews, I'm sure they've gone through things uh, maybe in more detail, maybe less. We can actually open our doors. Having a look from outside. There we go. We can get the uh, passenger doors as well. So let's see what else we have here. Our trim nose up and down. Mixture, throttle. Let's go throttle. Now if I move that mixture and bring the throttle back, it brings the mixture back as well. Very nice. What else have we got? Fuel valve. It's a click button. We do have our altimeter type. You can actually change these by clicking. I just change it from feet to meters. Click, a, hang on, let's get that out of the way. Click again. We can change it to an old fashioned type. Click again, we're back to altimeter with 1000 feet. Uh, can do the same with the knots. We have different gauges depending on what you want. Oh, I actually changed the um, stall, climb, and cruise speeds. I think I noticed there. Yeah, mile per hour. Well done. Didn't notice that in my first run through this. Okay, what else do we have? We can modify this gauge to go left or right just by holding it down or clicking lots. So you can choose which way you want this to face. I actually don't mind it fairly level. Um can open and close our lock our um, compass and level off of that we do have a flap lever flaps open up the top here good for very slow flight I think they are pushed closed uh, when you're going too fast anyway from my experience so far uh, we will have a look also at a tablet that comes with this so we have uh, cockpit references, uh, pilot, smart view. You can hide the pilot altogether, so he's gone. You can show, and that's really difficult to see what's going on, or exterior only, or what's called smart pilot. So it is on the outside, but I can't actually see it in here. Uh, looks like you can do the same with the passenger, exterior only. Well, that's actually not a bad idea. Because then I don't have to look through the back of his head trying to look outside. Yep, I think we'll leave that. We do have a GPS to hide. The thing is, you have to click the GPS first. There it is there. So we can actually have that. So show, hide, show. Okay, cool. Let's put it back away. There we go. Uh, pilot door is open. Okay, let's close those. There we go. We can do the same for the co-pilot. There we go, opens the doors. This actually has a lot of things you can press. Uh, rear airspeed type is modern in knots, and then we can actually change it with the tablet uh, to vintage or mile per hour in vintage. 
I'll leave it modern for now. Front, um, you can do the same with the uh, front uh, co-pilot seat. Uh, the same with the altimeter windshield. Now, I like this. This is a good touch. Uh, now, we can have a clean windshield. And it has, remember the last time I flew this, or we can have a dirty windshield, which looks like it's been uh, used. I'll try dirty today. Rolling resistance, normal, or what's high rolling resistance or normal? Okay, that's it. Engine realism is easy or hard. I don't want to blow it up on a uh, video here. Oh, persistent oil is off. Uh, front mouse zones is off as well, so I can't go into the front area and click buttons. Oh, that's cool. Moving on. Pedo covers are hidden or show. Where's my pitos? Oh, there they are. Oh, look at that. Very nice. I actually didn't notice that before. There's one on this side as well. Nope, we've got our fuel gauge. Sorry, our um, airspeed. So, we'll hide that. Pedo type is in English. Let's leave that. Luggage door is closed. Actually, we'll open that. So, you can see the door here. I'm actually going to leave that open for now. Tail gear, you can actually change it to a wheel or a skid. So we can have old school. So we can really go old school with this. Uh, wheel. There we go. I'm going to leave the wheel for now. Uh, Venturi is Australian. Or English. Uh, I'll leave it Australian. That's where I'm at. Windy airspeed gauge. Okay. Windy. Yeah. Okay. So the more wind you have, the more it pushes. Very nice. Oil tank straps can go on and off. I'm going to work out where my oil tank is. I'm not actually sure. That one I don't know. Wheel covers we got off. So if you look at these wheels under here, you can see that the um, inside is uh, a cavity. Same with the front. We put on a cap. There we go. Sealed them up. You know what? I'll leave them sealed. Propeller spinner. We can actually, and the edge and the propeller, I can turn off the edge. So we now no longer have that metal protection part. Well, let's put it back on. We can turn the spinner off. See the spinner's off now, but we have that metal protection part. See if we can get in closer. There we go. Uh, turn that back on. Or we can actually get rid of the propeller altogether, which I'm not sure why you'd want that. We can actually open up the left engine and the right engine covers. There we go. Look at the detail there. Now I'm going to come around with a bit more view in a moment, but I'm going to leave these open. We can actually take the entire cover off. How's that? And while we're at it, bottom cover. Now notice the bottom cover actually takes the front cover off. And the front cover takes the bottom cover off. I think they've got them back to front. But now you can actually run with your engine fully exposed. Well done. Uh, we can click to reset. Okay, what else do we have? Our engine types. Magnetos are linked. Uh, quick. Oh, click to quick start. Yeah, so behind, behind this tablet. Oh, look, I can move that. Oh, I like that. Here's a engine auto start. But I've got it turned off at the moment. Ooh, 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 this is actually good. I didn't realize you could do that. You can move the tablet around your... Ooh, that's getting in the way now. Hello, how do I get it back? <laughs> okay, this is everywhere you can put your tablet. Thanks for following me as we chase the tablet around the cockpit. Oh, don't tell me that's it. Oh, okay, other arrow. There we go. Well, that's interesting. I probably would help in VR when you're flying this to have a tablet that you can just look over at or down. I'll go one more. No, two more. We can put it back where it was. Okay, cool. Now, um, we can actually uh, pilot Magneto front. I can turn it on and then I've got pullback for um, propeller. So just pull. Um, I'll leave that there like that for a moment. Quickly have a look at the views because we have an up view, which is actually going off to the left side. 
back down then we go into our compass then we've got the right view door and then we have this so we'll press the locks and actually it locks the luggage uh, same for the uh, unlocking them either side one or the other you can just press and it will unlock press again and lock yes good next view we have the engine covers I obviously don't have them on oh wow we can actually touch our spark plugs I'm sorry what are we supposed to be doing with these it's just maintenance and repair but look at the detail here what we'll do is we'll go back in here and we will put the engine covers back on and go back through our views what we can do is we can actually press this and it will close as the stand comes up around to the front we'll come back to this side and we'll press this one well done now I do notice on this side we've got a modern air vent if we come back now that's the outside view if we come back in here and have a look at the tablet very quickly uh, what we got intake propellers for a right edge shop I think it's the next one um, oh we got an autopilot comms okay here's your preferences again what have we got front uh, airspeed persistent oil rolling engine realism hang on I need to get the view sorted there we go now you can change that to a vintage air intake I just got to work out which rear airspeed type no these are inside aren't they here we go air intake we now have a rounded one there rather than when you go for where was that air intake modern it's a modern air intake so you can actually put this as a very vintage looking or a more modern uh, looking aircraft which is quite nice all right now that I've gone and primed uh, and turned on my magnetos what we will do is we will go through my views backwards to the prop and grab the prop and pull through or there's pull back we'll do pull through and we have started the plane love it bit of smoke coming out all right and we are started very good let's get the tablet put away I'm not going to worry about the GPS we're not going far enough for that okay throttle is good now there was an option there for putting chocks in I have not done that so what we'll do is and we also have a wheel that does steer I think it actually steers let's have a look yes it does so it goes with the rudder I don't think that's a drag wheel it seems to be turning a little bit with me anyway very good now I've got that co-pilot turned off so I can see through the head there. Do have a little bit of a dirty window, but they're never going to stay clean once you get going. And we'll take this for a quick fly around the airport and bring it back down. I kind of like this aircraft. It does sound good. I found the sound quite uh, realistic. Also notice there does not appear to be any differential brakes, as in I can't go left only brake. It's either brakes on or brakes off. Obviously if you do it too hard you will nose over. But that's the same with any tail dragger. Good views from the inside. Can't see over the dash like most tail draggers. Which is why you would do this. lean your head out a little bit very good all right let's take off run around the airport 
come back in, land on the other side, give you my final thoughts. Gently does it. Very nice. Back that off. Handles really well. Not the fastest plane. Looks like it's got a uh, max speed there of 140 knots. I'm guessing that's in a uh, steep dive. Wouldn't want to be in a Tiger Moth at 140 knots. I would imagine. You can see our wind meter on the wing there is uh, telling us about how fast we're going. Very nice. Pito is doing its thing. Fuel gauge is up the top there. That little needle. I remember it's a float. It goes down or goes up. I think it's a float that goes down. So let's see how this handles a few jets flying around at the moment. Go down the river here. Give it a little bit of a uh, throw around. Um, it does handle quite well. Yep, that really can dive quick. Uh, nice steep climb. I don't know if it's necessarily aerobatic. There we go, we're going to lose all our speed. Nope, that's it. Nose it back down. Pick it back up. Back to 80 knots. It's very forgiving. Any other aircraft that would have gone in the air, you're not going to get enough to get going in. Alright, what we'll do is we'll bring this in for a very nice slow landing here. We'll get that uh, leading edge flat to uh, help us slow right down. Nobody coming. Nobody there. Uh, just AI moving off the runway. Alright, see how slow we can get it. Haven't even got the uh, leading edge flap showing yet. There it goes. Automatically, once you get down below a certain speed, and I'm already bouncing. Wow. That's a pretty cool aircraft. Okay, my final thoughts on this. I think it's done really well. The amount of customization that you have. Hang on, how do I look out there? There we go. The amount of customization you have. Um, kind of wouldn't mind a view. I mean, I can preset it myself, I'm sure. I wouldn't have minded a view that gets me into the front. Um, I know, though, that the pilot is in the back in this. Um... I like it and I will be using it myself. It's something I would fly more often. I did sit at it going, maybe I will. It had come out a few days on uh, outside the marketplace. I'm like, maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. I did see somebody else's uh, flying. I'm thinking, that's pretty good. I'm glad I got it. So yes, I do recommend this uh, with the customization and the amount of uh, liveries that already comes with it. And I'm sure there's going to be a whole bunch more uh, on places like flightsim.to absolutely worth uh, giving it a go so if you're happy with what you saw and if you've made it this far press that like button right down below whether you're actually going to get this or not much better than those freeware ones I used to show off uh, FSX conversions this has got so much options well done so good on uh, Ants Airplanes I think I'll go and review this on their website. Oh, sorry, on the uh, flight market. Uh, give them a thumbs up. Five out of five for me. 
Thanks for watching and have a great day. Cheers.